So I mean, what what's your feeling on the on the whole Genius Crown situation? I know we've touched on it. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, with cancel culture and the way things are working, is that you know people are judged on on a uh, not necessarily something they've written, but, you know, a retweet or uh, a two second video, you know, it's, it's life in short clips and short sentences yeah. <clears throat> rather than the whole picture and the context. And a lot of um, gaslighting. Yeah. And gaslighting, you know, so what was your feelings on, on the points a, she was trying to make, um, and B whether, you know, she should have, I mean, whether she shouldn't have said the thing she said, whether she's within her rights to say that, but not necessarily keep a job. I mean, where, where did you stand on that? Well, the overarching problem is that the current uh, cancel culture is all about you don't get to interpret what you say. I get to interpret what you say, which sure. leads it up to madness. Your intention doesn't matter. I tell you what your intention is as sure. the listener, which is madness. I mean, that's utterly madness, right? Because then you can say whatever you want. Whatever your intention is, I get to the, – the listener, the victim gets to define the intention. Like, no, this is what I'm trying to say. Why are you twisting my words? I'm not yeah. twisting words because under the system, I get to be the judge because I heard it, right? I get to be judge, jury, executioner, and everything. So that's the system, right? And so her words were taken and said, I'm going to interpret what she's saying. Uh, you know, I have been following her for a long time. Uh, she's very smart about just putting out these nice little memes to get a, a political a point across. And her political point has been primarily against cancel culture, against groupthink, uh, in support of people's individuality. That's all yes. the bit, right? This particular meme, I would have told her don't post that because it will be used against you. Because the town, because the town, I know as some 20 years of this, the, the ta Hollywood has a sacred cow, which is the events of World War II. Right. That's that's a line that the industry can you can't talk about. Right. And so once you do that, the industry will jump on you and call you an anti-Semite, call you this and that. Yeah. And, when it comes to the Holocaust. Yeah. Yeah. yeah specifically. And yeah. so no matter what you say about it, you can't win. So I said, don't post that because that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for that because no one's going to come to your defense. I had a friend of mine call me the next day, uh, you know, a very powerful producer. He's Jewish. And he called. And he said, I totally understand what she was saying. I 100 percent actually agree with what she's saying, but I'm not going to come defend her because it'll bring me down too, <laughs> because it's the red line, right? And everyone is now terrified. Oh my god! Oh my god! And so that's there. What she was saying is correct and has been proven true. Number one, historically, it's correct. The historical thing she said was correct that the Holocaust is the end result of many years of demonization of people, such that their neighbors turned against them and started turning them in. That's right. That's the Anne Frank story. Anne Frank is dead because someone in her neighborhood told the Gestapo this Jewish girl is hiding there. The Gestapo right. wasn't going door to door looking under people's door room for secret rooms. They weren't doing that. Someone said she's hiding in there. A neighbor did it, right? Yeah. And mm. they had to get to this really pathological place where they felt that was the appropriate thing to do, right? So that is 100% correct. And her point Again, the interpreter heard it as she's saying that conservative people are are equal to six million Jews being killed. That's an extreme jump. And that isn't. Yeah, I agree. Because it's a general comment about mass behavior, which is, hmm. like I said, the Salem witch trials. It wasn't the authorities going. The, you know, the local sheriff didn't go house to house say, "Are you a witch?" It was the neighbors that point each other. She's a witch. He's a witch. He's a witch. Yeah. And that's. You know, that's the Inquisition was the same. The Inquis Spanish Inquisition, the Inquisitors weren't going house to house. It was neighbors that were turning in their neighbors and said, I think this person is secretly Jewish or I think this person is still a Muslim, just pretend to be Catholic. And they would be turned in. It was all neighbors doing it. That's human nature. Yeah, yeah. Because yes, nobody expects <clears throat> the Spanish Inquisition as well. So yeah. <laughs> the system doesn't have True. the ability. Yeah. Only um, I mean, when I saw that tweet, that meme, um, I understood exactly what she was saying personally. Yes. Um, more sensitive types of people who I don't know have relatives who are in them situations might have taken it a bit differently and and misconstrued what she was talking yeah, about. Even then, it's it, you can call them sensitive types, but to me, that's just that's just victimization. Pathology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is like she's saying an objective truth. Do you not yeah. want to admit that that neighbors turned in Jews? That's what happened. That's and, what's happened. And she was warning against it. It wasn't. She wasn't trying to divide. I think they the, don't the, do this. Saying our culture is getting to the place, and she and proves it. It's her neighbors that turn her in to the Hollywood police. Right? Yeah, she, yeah, she basically right? proved she what proved she was talking about straight away. 
And so it, it is, I don't believe anyone who criticizes the message is being, uh, is being honest. They're not intellectually honest. You know, anyone who says, it, and if you're saying that the Holocaust is a historical event that you can't make any comparisons to, well, you know, I think, you know, the killing fields, you know, multiple millions of people were, were killed in Southeast Asia by Pol Pot, right? I think they yeah. would say, you know, this was, this was pretty bad. I mean, this was an organized extermination that just happened, you know, 30 years ago and 30 years after the Holocaust, right? So mm. I, once you do that, then that's just a political position. You're saying that you can't equate this historical event to part of the human condition. It is part of the human condition. It's the horrible part of the human condition, and it keeps repeating. And it keeps yeah. repeating. It's happening now in, um, well, you got it's happening in China. China. Yeah, exactly. China.